Magic is creating the illusion that you can defy the laws of nature. Magic is creating the illusion that you can defy the laws of nature. Science is the study of how the natural world works. This is science. Yeah! Look at this pile of rubbish. Uh -huh. This this garbage, this refuse, this awful heap of tossed out and wasted resources? Huh? Yeah resources. That's right, this is a pile of wasted resources that could have been used in much, much smarter ways. This is a pile of wonderful wasted resources. The Earth is very special in our solar system. It, plus the sun, gives us everything we humans need to live. Earth is huge, but it's only one planet and there is not another one like it in our solar system. Oh, you see, no. all natural resources come from the Earth and the sun. So they are valuable, very valuable. There may even be some valuable natural resources in this pile of trash. So what should we do with this trash? Hmm, put it in a trash can, you say? I don't know. What if there were valuable things in this pile that could have been reduced, reused, or recycled? What if we have recyclable or reusable stuff in this pile of trash? That would be a terrible waste, wouldn't it? Uh-huh. So let's go back in time and reduce, reuse, and recycle some of this trash. And away! Okay, we've reduced, reused, composted, and recycled. And we have this tiny bit of trash left over. Stuff we can't reduce, reuse, compost, or recycle. What should we do with this trash? Put it in a trash can, you say? Yep, that makes sense to me. And
Now, what should I do with this bag of trash? Any ideas? Hmm. Send it to the landfill? Yep, that sounds good to me. Can you do this in your home? Yep. Can you do this in your family car or truck? Yep. Can you do this when you're walking in the park? Yep. Can you do this at the local sports field? Yep. Can you do this at your school? Yep. When we get rid of trash properly, it is taken to a sanitary landfill that has environmental safeguards built in to keep the nasty parts, the parts of our trash, that can make us sick out of the air and water. The trash we send to the landfill stays in the landfill. But what happens to the trash we don't reduce, reuse, or recycle, or send to the landfill? Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. Did you see what just happened? People littered. Those folks just dumped their garbage out into the environment. This is so uncool, because not only does it keep our state from being beautiful, not only does it show a lack of pride in their community, not only can it make the plants and animals and even some people sick, it's not going to stay where you threw it out. What? Trash moves? Yes, everything in our environment is connected. So the trash you throw out won't stay where you threw it. Some people who are careless let litter fly out of their car windows. Some people even let loose junk fly out of the back of their trucks. Some people throw trash on the ground at the ballpark or at school. And they believe this is harmless, but it is not. Putting trash into the environment is making pollution. You may think this pollution is harmless, but it's not because everything in the environment, the streams, creeks, lakes, and rivers are connected to the land. What if lots of people are littering? What if trash blows out of garbage bins into the gutter and into the creek and into the river? It goes into the oceans, rivers, or streams. That's what. And what if millions of people all over the world are careless with their litter or don't secure their trash? We end up with billions of tons of plastic in our waterways. How is that possible? All land and water on the planet are part of one system. It's one big system that keeps everything livable on the Earth. They are connected. Did you know that one out of three fish caught to be eaten by humans has plastic in its body? And 100% of baby sea turtles examined by oceanographers have microplastics in their bodies. That's probably not good for baby sea turtles, or any living thing for that matter. Sea turtles and other animals often confuse plastic bags for jellyfish. And this mistake can be deadly if they eat those plastic bags. Scientists estimate that over a million animals a year die from litter, either from eating it or getting caught in it. That seems like a really high price to pay just for the teeny tiny bit of trouble it might be to put trash in the trash can or in the recycling bin. Our actions have consequences. It's a cause and effect thing. The cause, littering. The effect, over a million dead animals. That's a pretty serious effect from human carelessness. Most people assume that water pollution comes from chemicals dumped into the water. But guess what? Did you know that over half of the water pollution on the planet comes from litter? It's true because the land is connected to the water and water is connected to the land. Everything is connected. Litter even harms our air. Loose litter is often burned, which releases all of these chemicals into the air. Now we've got air pollution, which spreads all around the globe because the land is also connected to the air. Air pollution is one of the world's leading causes of disease. It affects literally millions of people every day. Litter can even spread disease and make you sick. Whether from humans, animals, bacteria, or parasites, diseases can be passed around from one living thing to another by trash on the ground. So you see, when the ground, the geosphere, is littered, it affects our hydrosphere, that's the water, and our atmosphere, that's the air. Litter seems harmless, but it's totally not. Litter hurts our biosphere, which includes all living things, you and me, 
Litter literally hurts every living thing. On a small scale, litter can make a sidewalk ugly. On a grand scale, litter can cause harm to all of Earth's systems. Air, land, and water. So litter is a problem. Where do you think litter comes from? Some litter comes from pedestrians, a fancy word for walking people. Most litter comes from people in cars because they just toss their trash right out the window or it flies out the back of their truck. They may not even mean to litter, but their carelessness ends up making litter. The solution to litter is simple. Take it with you. When I walk in nature, I keep any trash with me until I can throw it away properly. I even bring a little bag with me to pick up litter I find on the ground. Of course, you never know where that litter has been. So I use gloves or a plastic bag instead of touching it directly. You should do this too. What about riding in the car? Some people want to keep the insides of their car completely clean and don't want trash messing it up. Me too. So I keep a little trash bag. You could even use a simple plastic bag in your car. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Every time your parents stop for gas, be the responsible one in your family. Gather the trash in your car and throw the trash in the trash can at the gas station. Make it a habit. Do it every time. The planet will be healthier and you will feel amazing for having protected it from pollution. Maybe you can participate in local cleanup events in your neighborhood. Maybe you can spread the news about harmful effects of littering to other people. The more people that understand how harmful their small actions are, the more they will work to do better. Remember, every time you recycle something, or reuse, or throw trash away properly, or clean up litter, or encourage others to do the same, you are helping our land air, water, and all of the animals and plants that live here. You are part of the wicked awesomeness we call planet Earth. Nothing on our home sweet home planet exists in isolation. Everything is connected. You and I and every person on Earth are connected to the oceans, the lakes, the rivers, the creeks, the forests, the land, the animals, all of the beings here on planet Earth. So remember, the land is connected to the water. The air is connected to the water. Everything in nature is connected. Please do not litter. Please reduce, reuse, recycle. And whatever is left over after you've done that, be sure your trash is placed in a secure trash bin. This is good for our planet, and this is good for you and me. Thank you. You are awesome.